What is a company secret that is so vile it would ruin the company's reputation if more people knew about it? KFC goes to some pretty crazy lengths to protect their secret spices. Only three people in the world know what they are, and they are never allowed to travel on the same plane or be in the same vicinity. That's next level shit. Not really a company secret, but it is pretty vile. I used to work at Waffle House. I had just come in to start my overpass shift, and I was doing my walkthrough, making a list of things for second shift to finish before they left. I checked the steam tables and found sausage gravy and chili in it. Sausage gravy shouldn't be in the steam tables, as long as this had. It gets too runny. Whatever happens all the time, they don't usually serve it. They're just too lazy to clean it out, because it cakes to the sides. Then I take the lid off the chili. Gross white fuzzy mold on top. And it's the stinky type. You could smell it the moment the lid came off. I called my manager over to show him. There was obviously something wrong, if it was growing mold. Either sat there way too long or steam table temps were messed up, or whatever. Don't know, don't care. His job, so I called him over. He immediately stirs it up, and says it's fine. Um, what? He says it's not a problem, go ahead and serve it. I told him there's no way I can do that. He pulls me in close, like he's telling me a secret, and says we have to sell that chili, because we have no chili made to replace it, and, anyway, food costs are too high. I told him I didn't care, and I'd be throwing it away. He's insistent. Throw it away if you want, but it's fine. I'd sell it. You'll just be upsetting customers if they want it and can't have it. One more time I look him in the eye, raise my voice, so the customer about 5 feet away can hear me, and I say I'm not selling moldy chili. He just says whatever and storms off. I immediately texted my store manager and district manager. No answer. Next morning I email corporate. No answer. Couple days later I email department of labor and the health department. Got a thanks for the heads up email. Nothing ever happened to the guy. As far as I know, still friends with many of the employees there, and the rumor mill is worse than middle school. No one, corporate, doll, HD, even contacted the store or management. Breast cancer awareness products. So you would think that all of those products that are plastered in pink would have to give money to cancer research. Well if it says breast cancer awareness they actually don't have to. The claim is that they are raising awareness which is why they are pink. Intentionally misleading though. Worked at a startup web design firm a few years back. We were making a browser based city builder game. And my job was creating little flash mini games that could be played in it for resources bonuses and such. There was one game that kinda revolved, got out of hand, and we fleshed it out into a full-fledged standalone game as a means to get attention for our project by submitting this game to new grounds and such. Kind of a hey, if you like this game, I make many more like it for this browser-based city simulator. Totally legit operation too. Until I found out what the company president was doing. He was going to the other games featured on the sites I submitted to, creating accounts, and dumping on other games. He was giving 1 star reviews and 0 tenths and thumbs downs, all shamelessly, all willy nilly, and dropping the same copy slash paste comment to them all. This game sucks, you should play this game instead, and he'd link to my game. I'm glad that company dissolved, and that fat opportunistic fuck isn't in charge of anything anymore. Dunkin Donuts at Fenway Park serves regular coffee as decaf. Kinda scummy for people that are trying to get off caffeine. Edit. Due to the upvotes I will post the email I got about my complaint. Ridiculous. Disc downs. Thank you for taking the time to contact Dunkin Donuts. We always appreciate hearing from our guests. It's important to us to get feedback both good and bad about our products and the service you receive at our restaurants. We will make sure your comments get heard and shared with the appropriate people. At Dunkin Donuts we value our guests and are committed to making your visits to our restaurants a pleasant experience. We look forward to the opportunity to serve you again soon. Bob Guest Relations Coordinator. My last job trained us how to deal with people of lower socioeconomic status. It was a class on how to understand poor people and why they are different from other people. There were charts and videos all explaining how not to think of them as irresponsible, but to understand 
that their uneducated selves have a different poor culture. It was one of those situations that leave you looking around the room wondering if anyone else sees how absurd the situation is. Coca-Cola. In the 1970s, a Coca-Cola franchised bottling plant in Guatemala suffered a spate of mysterious murders of union-affiliated employees. To date, there have been a total of 179 major human rights violations of Coca-Cola's workers, including 9 murders. Family members of union activists have been abducted and tortured. Coca-Cola has been accused of bribing the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, ARPT. In 2003 Coca-Cola donated $1 million to the ARPT. Later that year the ARPT stated that scientific evidence is certainly not clear on the exact role that soft drinks play in terms of children's oral disease, directly contradicting their previous statements such as consumption of sugars in any beverage can be a significant factor that contributes to the initiation and progression of dental caries. Critics have stated it certainly appears that Coca-Cola has paid dentists to stop saying kids shouldn't drink coke. 37, 38. It just goes on and on. I'm a manager at a fast food restaurant. I won't name it because I unfortunately still need my job there and my regional manager told me I'd volunteer hours or get fired. I asked about certain laws against this and was told that he could fire me for something else. The cameras at said store don't even work. I also had to close a store down by myself, also off the clock, because managers should fend for themselves. Upon being hired as a manager, I was told I could move up in the company indefinitely. They then fired my boss for her getting paid too much. That's the legitimate reason they used. I'm not even sure how that works. The whole company is corrupt, and I wish I could find a new job. Seriously, I was nearly fired, because my till was short about $200. When they checked the cameras, they worked then, this was years ago, they saw it was the district manager's daughter. The matter was dropped, and she still works there. I hate my job. None of this is really a deep dark secret, but I felt the need to vent. I was in the marines for 5 years. Other than a few absolutely shining examples of machoism and fitness the vast majority of the force is fat, lazy, disgusting, ignorant pieces of human shit. Literally some of the worst people I've ever met. Sorry to my fellow devil dogs, but you fucking know it's true. And if you don't you are that slob. On December 3rd, 1984, Union Carbide, now part of Dow, accidentally killed 5,000 residents of Bhopal, India, when its pesticide plant sprung a leak. It abandoned the plant without cleaning it up, and since then, an estimated 15,000 more people have died from complications, most resulting from chemicals released into the groundwater. Although legal investigations have consistently pinpointed Union Carbide as culprit, both Union Carbide and Dow have had to publicly deny these findings. After the accident, Union Carbide compensated victims' families between US$300 and US$500 per victim. Not huge, but if we have less than two of the size you're looking for in the back we are out. We make better revenue and reviews from those 48 hour online deliveries. So if you order from our in-store computer with the free shipping you're probably getting something a 150 feet away from where you're standing. I think if people actually saw Taco Bell squirt that meat out of a hose onto that tortilla, they'd have a lot smaller appetite, for like 5 minutes. Then they'd eat it anyways. Edit. I'd like to point out that both of these instances happened quite some time ago. I saw the Mitos in person when I lived in Brookhaven, Mississippi, which was about 10 years ago, and the broken one happened maybe a few months prior visiting my relatives in the Jackson, millisecond area. Several people have worked there etc. And they didn't use a hose. Maybe they changed this practice since then. Not sure, I'll have to check next time I'm in those areas. TL, Dr. Taco Bell uses a nasty meat hose. A New Zealand owned burger chain that I worked at for 6 years during school slash college sent all its staff out a style manual to go with its new uniform. It recommended we wear Mac Macup, which is $60 a bottle over here, and said, quote, leave for work looking hot enough to take a selfie hash b u r g e r f u e l hash m a k e u p hot hash s e l f i e. They introduced short shorts, which only went up to size 10, so a chubby girl at my work was reduced to tears having to wear men's shorts. 
As a manager, I deliberately walked in looking like utter crap, and refusing to wear their precious shorts. My boss bought them a size too small on purpose, so everyone's asses were hanging out. I let everyone on my shift wear what they wanted until the day I left. We didn't get paid enough to be patty flipping strippers. What the flipping fuck? Bayer, big pharmaceutical company, have a couple. Claimed aspirin was their own invention, and sold it as such. Used to be chaired by a Nazi convicted of the Nuremberg trials of carrying out experiments on humans at Auschwitz. Intentionally sold blood infected with HIV. I work for an insurance company. Yes yes they are all evil. We are taught slash told that, if a potential client lives in a not, so nice area we are to make it as difficult as possible to give them our product, as we cannot flat out say no because I live in Canada and it's the law. So if they live in low income housing we would ask for an impossible amount of paperwork ad surcharges and or make them wait up to a month for us to process the paperwork. Reddit is actually used as a propaganda tester for the government. If it gets major upvotes then the government knows they can use that to persuade you to buy their products with brainwashing properties. The reason marriage manner is illegal is because it is the only thing on earth that can rid your body of a substance which causes you to be brainwashed. Susan G. Komen is a complete sham. I don't know the specifics, but something like half or more than half of all the money taken is doesn't go towards cancer research, but goes into lining the pockets of the higher ups that run the charity. They also consistently sue people who try to use the phrase for the cure. Please people, give to charities that you know are legit. Gidister.org is a good reference place. You can get copies of tax information and see for yourself just how much of your donation actually goes towards helping people. Susan G. Komen is a complete sham. I don't know the specifics, but something like half or more than half of all the money taken is doesn't go towards cancer research, but goes into lining the pockets of the higher ups that run the charity. They also consistently sue people who try to use the phrase for the cure. Please people, give to charities that you know are legit. Gidister.org is a good reference place. You can get copies of tax information and see for yourself just how much of your donation actually goes towards helping people. Apple has an in-house security firm which essentially works the same way as a private security firm for diplomats. Essentially, they are a part of Apple, but exist on their own. I don't know if they still do this, but here is how it used to go down. When Apple believed a leak had come from a department they would send in this security firm. The guy in charge would go to the manager and tell him to step out and calmly tell everyone to activate their screen savers and place their phones on their desks. No one is allowed to talk during this time. The security guys will then go around and download the entire contents of every workstation there onto laptops and then do the same thing with their phones. The reason they can do this is because they give free Apple products to their employees to use, but since they not only made the product, but gave it to them, they have the right to invade their employees' personal data. After that they wrap up and walk out without a word and everyone is left to ponder if someone will be getting fired, whether that's due to being the source of the leak or the security guys finding something else. Moral of the story, be careful what gifts you accept from an employer. I work for an air conditioning company. Sometimes we get called out just because a circuit breaker has tripped. Most of the time it just happens due to the outdoor unit being blocked, but our company always blames the compressor. If the unit is more than 5 years old we say the part is no longer available and give them a very marked up quote just to replace the whole system, whereas it would run for a hell of a long time before it tripped again. The majority of our work is generated from this in winter months. It's probably an open secret, but the claw machines, where you try to win plush toys at arcades, have a payout percentage that is set by the staff. The payout is calculated, based on the unit price of the toy and the cost per game on the machine. No matter how much claw poising skill you bring, you're not going to win, until you've spent a few times the price of the toy playing the game. Not you specifically, but whoever else has played before you as well. Former sous chef at P.F. Chang's. Don't eat chicken lettuce wraps. It's basically all the parts of the chicken you would normally throw away ground up, mixed with groundwater chestnuts and rehydrated mushrooms. Tossed in a wok with what we call dark sauce, tons of salt and sugar. We basically turn waste into our most popular app. Despite the greenwashed, 
worker-friendly image, Trader Joe's routinely uses sweet shop labor and partners in companies that use human trafficked labor. On top of that, they refuse to sign the Coalition of Amicably Workers petition to bring tomato picking prices up to a relatively living wage. A move that companies like Burger King and Taco Bell were perfectly willing to make. They also use an opaque and questionable self audit system to verify their products are organic, non-GMO, gluten-free etc. A move that bucks an industry-wide trend towards using third parties to verify. I work at a large-scale events venue in Australia. We host conferences and corporate banquets among other events. Often with the larger banquets the clients will have a sponsor for whatever they are drinking like a beer or wine producer, so they freight the suppliers drinks to our venue, in bulk, like pallets full, and we serve it. There is no tracking procedures for the booze apart from how much we received in freight, and how much goes back to the supplier. After these functions the stock control guys skim off dozens of cartons of booze, to be stowed away in a storeroom. Considering this happens on a fortnightly basis on average, they have pallets full by the end of the year then they get rid of it all, they take it home, or use it for our staff Christmas party. I've often thought, if they tried to fire me, I'd just ML all the alcohol producers in Aus, and tell them we've been flogging their stock for years. Considering the taxes they are stung by it would be a pretty big deal. Cheap carton of beer in Aus is $40 retail. TL. Doctor, events venues deals beer and wine or suppliers by the pallet load then either drinks it, or uses it for staff parties. Woo.